This is just a quiet park right now, and the only thing moving is a cold winter wind. But soon, surprisingly soon, this whole area right here will be filled with parents and kids, a big old barbecue grill, and a moon bounce. It's been reserved by a business for its annual employee family picnic. And the entertainer is going to work for several hours and make good money. I know because every year I'm contracted to entertain for several picnics here and at other parks from April to October. Add in Halloween and Christmas parties for large groups and I'm doing similar shows every couple of weeks much of the year. I'm a magician, clown and family entertainer. It's been my full-time job for 25 years. One of the things I enjoy most about this kind of show is the variety. I get to perform in new situations, try out new ideas. Performing at picnics gives me a chance to stretch my muscles as an entertainer, to use performance skills I don't get to use at birthday parties. Being ready for the special demands of this kind of performance and having the salesmanship skills designed to get new bookings for this kind of job can expand your employment opportunities and keep you working, especially on holiday weekends when many parents tend not to plan birthday parties. We'll start with a look at what's special about this type of performance. Then we'll look at how you set your price and sell yourself as an ideal entertainer for the job. I'll tell you how to plan with the sponsor to deliver exactly what he wants and make the crowd want exactly what you have to offer. Then I'll make some suggestions for the content of your performance. Magic, balloon sculpture, face painting, games and prizes. And how you make each of these features really enjoyable for the audience in this setting. And finally, how to handle the special problems that sometimes arise in the outdoor performance. Of course, everything in this video is my personal opinion, and there are plenty of successful performers whose opinions differ greatly. But the ideas here work for me. I believe that these strategies will help you stand out from the average performer so that you'll have the selling edge when clients call and so that you can keep the client saying, we got to have this guy again. So get a notebook and a pen and don't stop with a single viewing. Write down the things you want to remember first and then view this video again from time to time because different ideas will become more meaningful to you as time goes by. Well, as you can see, it's August, the weather's warmed up, and I'm getting ready to do exactly the sort of event we're talking about. What sort of event do I mean when we discuss picnics? To understand that, let's survey the paying bookings the average family entertainer gets. When you hear magicians who aren't working talk about bookings, they dream about cruise ships, nightclubs, and trade shows but there are very few actual jobs in those venues. 99% of the bookings they actually get are children's birthday parties, private parties for an adult or a family audience, the walk-around performance for the public, and of course, any event with a large group of families who will be there a while without an individual guest of honor like there would be at a birthday party, and who will expect a variety of entertainment skills, mostly for the children. That covers a lot of ground, starting with actual summer outdoor picnics, and also events that may even be indoors and take place in colder months, like church or company holiday parties, keep the kids busy at wedding receptions, children's rooms at conventions and meetings and the like. Outdoors or in, summer or winter, Large groups of people will be enjoying each other's company and bringing the family. 
there will always be food and children, and they'll always call for similar entertainment skills, and you'll need similar techniques for selling your services and keeping the client happy. I exclude from my definition a store grand opening where nobody will be staying to watch you for more than a minute. There are several factors that make these performances different from your usual bread and butter. First, you'll be dealing with a lot more people. At a picnic, you'll sometimes find yourself tap dancing as fast as you can to keep peace or at least some kind of order, being entertaining to the assembled crowd while you serve one person at a time. Second, at a picnic, both you and the audience are going to be there for an extended length of time. But most of the time, they'll be coming and going. Your performance at a picnic is not a closed-end event, as far as the audience can tell. So, a birthday party strategy, asking them to pay constant attention, as now we'll all do this, then we'll all do that, won't work. A child might reasonably expect to get your personal attention, then go off and do something else, then come back later, once, even several times, for the same service, or for something else. So, you'll need special time management and crowd management skills. It would be easy to start twisting balloons, for instance, and just keep doing that as long as you're there. The line of interested children never ends. But you'll need to pace the different services you offer to be sure you've delivered every feature you're being paid for for long enough to serve most people. And you have to project that discipline to the crowd. You'll have to establish and maintain a good line of communication to the whole crowd. Third, at a picnic, you're subject to the weather and to other conditions. Rain may cause the event to be canceled or postponed before you even begin. Or, if the event goes on anyway, the rain or wind or heat may seriously affect your ability to deliver everything you planned. In some seasons, even the indoor party may be canceled because of snow. Or, the working conditions may not be as promised. Maybe the ground is muddy, or the only place they have for you is on a hillside, or you could be right next to a loud band, or that separate children's area the hotel promised turns out to be a busy hallway outside the ballroom where the parents are. All of these things may call for a lot of flexibility on your part, and if you want your paycheck, you're going to have to take what you're faced with and make it work.